the only two injury that I've had over the past, uh, well, many years, but particularly in the last two, is the ones in the head from lack of sleep. So there's something going on in there, and it's like, but Katie, um, she's had tons. She's a, she's a walking nightmare. I had my appendix out like two and a half weeks ago. I blamed David Letterman because it was straight after filming his show. I fell out of a taxi in Denver, and I've got a sore ankle. Have pulled muscles in my head for like two reasons. One is because I stopped smoking and I'm chewing Nicorette gum constantly. And the second is from shouting. And I've done it before. It's like this weird burning pain in my head. And then the final one is I, um, I trapped my hand in the, my hand skin in the mic stand. So I put the mic in its holder and my skin got stuck there. And I think that's it. The first US show we ever did was uh, Glasslands in uh, Williamsburg. Uh, uh, that was amazing, and then... Um... And the, the electricity went, and so our manager had to, like, pump this generator as we was playing that you could hear really loud. Um, but, yeah, that was probably a good first show to do in the States, was in, like, super cool Brooklyn. We were going, wow, this is amazing, we have to live here. When you work together every day, there's things that start to bug you, and I think, in particular, the fact that Katie... Uh, to her credit, sometimes she, she's so messy and she has, she just like, you know, she'd take something, use it, and just drop it and walk to the next thing. And it's like there's a trail of the, you never lose it, you just follow the destruction. And there Kate would be at the end game. He, he talks too much. If I'm honest, that's the main thing. Like, he talks too much. Like, I can be on the phone to him and it's like two hours and the phone's hot and you're like confused and exhausted by the end of it. And it's Everybody's like, oh god, Jules is calling, see you in three hours. So, um, really, yeah, everybody, everybody the whole world. Oh, I'm damaged, <laughs> I'm damaged from that. <laughs> no, the thing is, I don't though, I can he... come back from that. I'm never gonna make a call again. No, the thing is, you, you suck people into it because he's so like, he'll be talking, say he's talking about a song or something, he'll be so excited that you go on this journey with him where it, he sucks you in and you get really excited, but then you're just exhausted I'm at the worried. end of it. I'm mortified. <laughs> That everybody thinks that of me. Um, I'm sure we've offended lots of people without realising, because that happens quite a lot. The funniest thing we had, which was um, that our name, Ting Tings, in Japanese means cute penis. And the Japanese label are so polite that they spent like a year like mortified, like to the point where it can't really be said that much on the radio either because it sounds like cute. they're like the cute penises. <laughs> and um, they didn't tell us. They were so they were so worried we'd be upset, and we found it hilarious. But that was an interesting. Cause you just think, why wouldn't you tell us that it's funny? And they obviously were like really sad about it. I got lost in Japan. I went to find McDonald's in Japan. Shame on me, but I did. And I didn't take a phone, room key, nothing. It's like one in the morning and I was in Osaka. And then I realised that even like my hand gestures about hotel was just not getting through. And I was like stranded in the city. And because I'm not from Japan, I didn't know whether I was in a bad area or not. Because, you know, the bad areas in Manchester look completely different to the bad areas in Japan. And I was like almost tearful because I was completely lost. We did probably like three days without sleep. We was doing like a show in Portugal, and then we was flying t to London, then Scotland, and we actually had an emergency landing on the aeroplane because the door was open underneath or something. And I, I was like a terrified flyer when we first started. And um, Jules woke me up because the guy said it in Portuguese and Jules speaks Spanish, so we understood. And he actually woke me up to be like, we're having an emergency landing and the plane's I going down. I was going to deal with it alone. <laughs> yeah. like, we're all going together. And we were so tired that I just went, yeah, whatever, and went back to sleep. And I would never have done that. So we must have been exhausted. And I just want to place note, because I know we're running out of time, that it's not me that does all the talking. <laughs>